So what's the story with these jackets? Are these men's? These are all these, men's, These right? are all men's. I bought them for myself. They're just a little too short. So okay. like if I wear any shirt underneath it, it just pokes out. Now, I mean, I, I, I see they all have the tags. So what, you, you bought them and you never wanted, I mean. Never wanted to wear them, no. I didn't pay full price for them like that. So what's the story with this Chinese writing on it? I'm not sure. Hmm. I bought these all separately online, so. Made in China, kind of letter specialist. Hmm. That's what that one is. To be honest, I'm not, I mean, I'm very familiar overall with Coach, with, with you know, with their bags and wallets, you know, for yeah. many, many years. So all these three are like the same style? Yeah, they're the same model. This one's, I like this one's color the best, I think. It's just a shame they don't fit me very well. A little bit concerned yeah. with these. I'm, what are you trying to get out of them? I mean, I see ridiculous, you know, suggested retail price of eleven $1 hundred dollars yeah. on these. I mean, usually they do that, and then you know these jackets sell for four or five hundred bucks. You know, if I could get like two hundred for these two, maybe. I don't know how much. How much do you think you can get out of it? Because I know you take, you give half of what you can get for yeah. it. If I could get like 200 for these two, and I paid a little bit more for this one, so I'm not even sure. My concern is if they're even legit, Coach. Yeah. This is the very first one. This is all that's sold, so we don't know. You know, I, I do have a little concern about these, you know? Looking at the stitching, mm -hmm. when Coach does stuff, even though they've been doing stuff massively now, but their stuff is perfect. I mean, look, look at all this. It, it just doesn't look right. Like it's. You know, there, be, there, there, there should be no thread coming out at the end. They would never do this. I don't think th these are. I don't think these are actually coach. No. I don't think these these are knockoffs. Uh, when you look at uh, go on their coach side and you look at these. They don't make anything like this with those zippers on top. They make that exactly style with those zippers on the bottom here and with the double strap here, but they will not put the zippers on upper part. Honey, get off. Um, like, you know, there, there should be no... Everything should be perfect when it comes to stitching, you know, with them. I mean... When I'm looking at that line, that doesn't look like it's 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 high end job, you know. I got you. Um, well, it could that just be was in my trunk or something? No. Overall, when I'm looking at the stitching, you know, it's just. So unfortunately, I'm not gonna be interested in the bag. Oh no, why not? I found one for ten dollars and then two for twenty five dollars online. Mm -hmm. So it's not a very good reseller. About yeah, I'm sorry, my friend. I'm gonna pass. No, because we don't do good here, so it's only be if it's you know a higher end where I can put it online. Yeah, it would be a hard sale here. Sorry. Do you think they're not? I think. I. I think they are. Uh, what kind of trunk? Well, it's got it. I don't want to bring it in. It's in the van. Okay, I'll take a look at it. Yeah. I mean, look at the stuff like this. It's going perfect, perfect here, all of a sudden it splits up and does something like that. I mean, you know, when they're doing their stuff, it's it's almost like perfection, you know? So, yeah. And w the biggest giveaway for me is, why are these here? When I can't find anything like that on their actual website, they, they show their, all their leather jackets yeah. and there is this style, but actually that number when you punch in... Um, You're not getting anything or what? Well, that exact number, nothing brings it up on their website. You know what I mean? So... I mean, there's so much 
fake stuff coming yeah. out of China all the time now that it's crazy, especially like the higher end brands, you know, like the Gucci's, the Louis Vuitton's, it's all. On the other hand, this is a nice jacket and this is, you know, the Ralph Lauren is legit. Yeah. You know, this is... They probably got ripped off on these three days. I, I'm, I'm scared to say. <laughs> yeah. But I think you did. I mean, if you bought them online, man, it, it just, they, I mean, they look good, but I don't think they're legit, you know, so. Mm. So. Oh, well. Uh, on this one, if you want, I can do like 45 bucks. 45? Mm -hmm. Can you do like 60 maybe? I think you can get a lot more for it. Uh, I mean, it's a used jacket. It's still in a great condition, but I'm, I'll bump it up to like 50 bucks. I don't want to go any higher. All right. So um, if, if you feel comfortable with that, I can do that. If not, I, I, I got to pass. I'll think about it, right? Okay. Yeah, right. no problem, my friend. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I, I, I wish they were real, you know, because if yeah. they are, there's some money to be made, but I don't think they are, man, so, okay. I'll look into it. I did see um, one with the zippers like this on their website a while ago. I'll look at it. Look into it, I mean, but I, I'm going to pass. Okay, I'll help you. All right, cool. Sorry. Thank you. Have a good one. You Take too. it easy. Yeah. Um, we have a handful of them. Um, Give me just one. Get a trunk. Yeah. Yeah. I put oh. that trunk in for you to take a look at. Don't grab um, the so handle. I got a handful of 1971 Kennedy half dollars. Then around the block, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. That's an old one. Older, older trunk for sure. Uh, one second, I'm going through them. I got four of them here. What do you guys would like to get out of it? I'll be honest with you. I got about four different sizes of trunks in my back room. They've been here for a very long time. So. About 40. It's an old one. Yeah, it is an old one. Here. No, it doesn't look like any of them have a S on it. No, they don't have a like, New Jersey. Uh, a three letter JLA or JFA or something so along those lines. That's all they have on them. 30 bucks. Oh, you're killing be, me. I'm you're killing you. Me. You're <laughs> killing me. I got to sell this stuff and make money. I know, but so what's going to happen with this? 99% of the time, something cool like this is just going to be used as a decoration, right? Mm -hmm. Nobody's going to, you know, this is going to be a display piece that somebody's going to stick it somewhere just to sure. have a nice conversation piece. Um, or you could store your winter clothes in here. Yeah, you could. Make a toy box. You could. See, that's a lot of uses there. No, you said how much? I said 30. Oh, you said it again. Like you said it again. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm not even my heart. 30. Okay, let, I'll be, let's see, 37. Do you, you want a job? <laughs> how about we met in the middle? You said 40, I said 30. How about 35? 37. I can't do that. Two lousy bucks, come on. Two I'll... lousy bucks? You, come on. you you wanna pay my bills? <laughs> <laughs> okay, if it feels you if it makes you feel yeah. a little bit better, I'll do thirty-six. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Jenquia. That was a I do four dollar. <laughs> <laughs> I do need your ID so I can write this up, oh. okay? I should have said in twenty cents. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna I wanna show you guys the inside of this and she wasn't she funny this lady was she was like 80 years old and she was going over a dollar with me but it was funny this has original stickers on it you know how they would yeah. do it on back in back in the day when when it would go on yeah. a ship or on a rail, rail, railroad they would just slap another sticker another cool. sticker there is a date right here May 1919 okay. over 100 years old oh but look how good it is still inside oh it's nice oh look at that it's excellent yeah this comes out this is a handle from this side that ripped off they okay. saved that look at this wow, this, is this thing how is, they were lining yeah they were lining them like that oh, with the paper so nice but 
You smell it? Did you see I got that? Yeah, it, it, it hits you like. <laughs> so leave it open for a few days. I think it'll air out. So it's, it's a cool piece. This is old paper too. This is, I think, I don't know exactly where this is supposed to be attached, uh, but it's ripped. Is there a hole to attach this? Check, nothing mm. on that side. Okay, so on this side. Hmm. So now that makes me think maybe they redid the paper. I don't know. It's just old. It's very old. It just came undone. It doesn't matter. The quill factor is everything else. No, no, it's in a correct spot. This is the original yeah. hole here. So there is a hole here, but it's kind of in the wrong place. But if it was here, that's not gonna fold with no. this. It doesn't matter. No. It's neat. It definitely yeah. smells hundred years old. You know what though? It's gonna go away if you leave this open yeah. for a few days. It's but cool piece. you're gonna trap it in with that too though. Yeah, so well, leave it open. I, I gave her thirty six dollars. We went back and forth. <laughs> it was funny. Okay. This is a cool piece it's here nice. too. You know what this is? Scale. But this is original scale from some kind of post office. Tremor airmail scale. It's got a US stamp on it and look, let's oh. say let's say it was a first class, two okay. ounces. It tells you the price immediately, ten cents. Oh my god. And there was a such a thing as a third class. What was third class? Guy on a horse? <laughs> yeah. Like the Pony Express. So it says if you had a package, let's say that it's ten ounces. Ten ounces, eighteen cents. So I wonder what for back then. <laughs> I wonder what year this is from. I mean, this is definitely looks out. to me. This scale is made by Probably Triner not. in Chicago. Oh, uh, it's right here. This is date. Oh yeah, it's got a date, 1963. Hmm. So, isn't, that, isn't that cool? Yeah. They don't go for a whole lot. There's only one that I actually found Me. that sold. Look, an auction for ten bucks. You oh. know, there's three listed right now on eBay. Mm -hmm. And people are asking like forty or fifty dollars. Is it super accurate? Can you weigh test it? You know. Look, forty dollars, yeah. forty nine, twenty nine. So, oh, no. I mean, I, I gave him five bucks for it okay. because I think you know we got so many scales it's back cool then, but it's just cool looking. Yeah, and you know? I like this card on it. And the card that displays yeah. the original prices is Let's pretty, have it. Yeah, pretty have cool. It First class airmail. Let's say this was four ounces. It was thirty two cents. Back in 63, you sending something air, hmm. first class? 32 cents, that seems like a lot. You think so? For express, like uh, okay. airmail? Airmail, yes. What it would be now, first class? There's no oh, such thing. No. I mean, the first class right now, it's four ounces is like $3.51. Okay. You know, it depends where it goes, but. Right. Yeah. Um, at least 29, 27. <laughs> then there's like some Christmas ones that are together. Some little ones. The bigger ones I put at okay. the bottom. I want to lay them out all so we can count them. I mean, I, I definitely would be interested in those. They are a little bit all over the place when it comes to price, and we'll pull right. them up here in a second. Um, Now they were made, you know, it's, I think there were two uh, two runs of these that they were making. Mm -hmm. There were some that they were like special editions. Okay. That they would make, let's say, like 700 and they right. would number them. Yeah, I think one of them has a number on the bottom. I can't remember. And then there's some like these that they're kind of massively produced and they would right. make, you know, thousands of, of, right. of each one. So. I had a really cute one of um, Pooh trying to put, or the rabbit trying to push Pooh out of his uh, little house, uh -huh, uh -huh. but his Pooh's arm broke off. So I'm just going to glue it and keep it. <laughs> 
So we can see like it's kind of all over the place. Mm -hmm. Depends how big they are, what is it, how right. big. I mean, if you have a big setup like this, look, this much money. Right. But then you're going to have a single one for like 10 bucks, 16, you know. Mm -hmm. There's some that are probably more rare or it all depends too. I think how much is out there available to buy. Right, right. You know, so... Um, I mean, what were you thinking? What do you? What would you like to well, get out of this? I was this? thinking like the bigger ones, like like these, like twenty dollars, and then the medium sized ones, like ten dollars. Bigger. Hmm. You know, or like even like the smaller ones put together for like ten dollars. Yeah, very. Ruby. Ruby. So it will be kind of hit and miss for me because there's a lot of them like even as cheap as, as like eight bucks, you know, but there's some for 20, like, there's like some 15. That one's 25. But that one is 25. This one right here. Um, <laughs> A bird for sale, very nice, quiet. Cheap. Cheap. Cheap, 10 bucks. <laughs> I, to be honest with you, I wouldn't want to be in this more than like 200. So that probably comes out to like 7, 750 a piece on average. Okay. Um, because some of them, yeah, I will sell for 20 bucks or 20 bucks, but there's some that is going to be here for $10, right, you know? Right, right. So I, I would like to like just average it out. Um, and, and 200 bucks would be my offer. I'm fine with that. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Have a deal. Awesome. I do need your ID so I can write it up. Yep. So I picked up a couple of interesting items here. Now this is a complete knockoff made somewhere, made in India, size small. But it's cool because it's double sided. So on this side, you got a big logo of, of, of the Bulls, Chicago Bulls. And then you can flip it around and it becomes a black jacket with the red letters, Chicago Bulls on it. Like I said, no, no brand associated with it it's just a cool looking jacket so somebody who's into bulls will like this uh, i paid twenty dollars it's still in very good condition overall but what's uh what's nice is this next jacket that honey is laying on it come on girl this is actually good size this is double xl hi guys how are you yeah give me one second this one shows a nice logo of Kansas City Chiefs on the back. Definitely vintage. I'm thinking it's probably 80s, 80s jacket. Look at this. Isn't that cool? And this one I gave him 40 for it. One hour later. 100 bucks. <laughs> All right, thank you, appreciate yeah, thank it. You. Thanks guys, yeah, have a good one. You too, man.